But uh, I forgot to tell you, during the Battle of the Bulge, mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of wounded guys, and there were four guys who were hurt bad, so we put them in an ambulance, me and that other guy. And I was in the back, instead of sitting beside him in the front, I was in the back, and I was trying to comfort these guys. And one guy was bleeding so bad, you know, so I pressed on it, and I hit, I hit the uh, pressure points, you know, principle where you put a tourniquet. Well, we finally got him to the aid station, and I was so glad, because I was freezing up the front, you know. Was, you know, the snow was that deep. And, you know, you had to sleep in there. But if you fell asleep, you die, you know. You freeze to death. So everybody that was trying to make coffee, you know, and uh, they drink the coffee that day. We, so anyway, we got back to the aid station. We unloaded the guys. And I went back to get on the Jeep. I got warm while I was in there, you know. And uh, when I got back to go in the Jeep, the guy had left. I said, that bastard. I got to walk back about a mile through the deep snow. He took off. So I looked outside, and I saw a mound of blankets. I said, what the hell is blanket doing there? And one of the kids was rushing out and he was throwing blankets mm -hmm. on the pile. And uh, he, he said, uh, these are blankets all full of blood, they burn them. He said, but a lot of guys come down and pick up the ones with the least amount of blood and take it back with them. So I said, Jesus, that's a good idea. I think I'll do the same. So, you know, I, I went through the pile and I had been, I said, I'd take them up to the guys in the foxhole. You know, I used to jump in any foxhole. They were always a medic, you know. So uh, I got a bunch of them, and I'm walking, and I'm, I walk about a quarter of a mile, and I see this tree, you know, the tree, and then there was a snow drift, and then there was a bare spot right there, and then on the ground. I said, Jesus Christ, I never seen that. I said, I think I'll take a rest. So I put some blankets underneath me and some on top of me. And I did I taken a rest. All of a sudden I hear <coughs> <coughs> I said, what the hell is that? And it come like from here to my backyard, you know. And <coughs> <coughs> I said, Hello, are you friend or foe or what? I said, I'm a medic, uh, I'm a medic. And he says to me, and he said, Roosevelt is a no good, dim good butcher. He said, Roosevelt is a butcher. You know, he spoke English. So I said, oh, so you're a clout, huh? He said, yeah, never mind clout. I'm a German Wehrmacht soldier. You know, he was, he, he was an SS, you know. That's good. So I said, look at uh, He started insulting me, you know. So I said, uh, when I catch up with Hitler, I said, I'm going to tear off that mustache he called the pussy bumper, you know. <laughs> he said, what is that? I said, that's good. I said, you got one, I'll do the same to you, you know. <laughs> He said, you Americans. And we kept, you know, uh, then he said to me, we go to our cinema. And he said, and we see how the Americans live. They shoot each other. You know, I get there was Sean the Al Capone in some of the movies that, you know, they didn't mention any. They show all them. He said, we see how the Americans live. They shoot everybody. That's how they live. They are gangsters. They are gangsters. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said, I said, you know, on a Saturday and a Sunday, they made a law that you can't shoot anybody. You know? <laughs> no, I'm, you know, I'm full of He said, what the law? What the law? He said, so anyway, I said to him, 
That's a good part. I said to him, uh, somebody told me to look up in the air. There were some barrage balloons up there. I said, I looked up and I said, that's not a barrage balloon. That's Goring, you know? <laughs> and he started to laugh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's one thing I agree with you. It was Goring, you know? <laughs> so uh, he started to laugh. And after a while, you know, we started uh, uh, we started to talk nice to each other. And I said, what's your name? And he said, uh, my name is Albert. I said, well, look, Albert. Ich bin ein American Soldaten. I told him that I was a medicine doctor, you know. I said, you don't believe me? Take a look at my helmet. So I took the helmet out and I stuck it out. You know, so he could see it. And he saw the Red Cross on it. So uh, I said, come on over and have a cigarette. And I said, uh, so he says, well, I don't know. I, said, I don't know. So he comes over and we had a cigarette. And he gets me a, a thing like shaped like a cigar, only a little thicker, you know. And it's supposed to be German butter. But it stunk like hell, you know. So I said, What, what was it? It was butter? Well, the it's book called the butter, but I think was a piece of shit. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we start talking and this and that, and I said, "Oh, by the way, Alvin, what the hell are you doing in enemy territory? You know, it's enemy territory." He said, "Well, I was with a patrol, and I had to relieve myself, so they went ahead." And they, and I said, oh, that's, you know. I said, look, Albert, the war for you people is over. He said, I know, I know. I said, well, you know, Albert, why don't you come back with me and become a prisoner? He said, what? You think that I'm going back with you? He said, being captured by a medicine soldier? <laughs> 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 I love like hell. So uh, we started to talk, and I said, "Well, <coughs> I said, Albert, I I'm gonna get out of here. I said I gotta go." But I said, "What's your full name?" I said, "Your yeah, address." I'll never forget it. His name was Albert Krauss, and he. I said, "Where do you live?" He said, "I live in a small town." Uh, 20 miles south of Frankfurt on the Main. And I said, what's the name of the time? He said, Hila. H-A-L-I-L-E-R. Hila. And I said, what's the address? He said, 59 Kleinbahnstrasse. Klein means small, you know. And with a, uh, I guess a dead end. So I said, well, Albert, if I get anywhere near there, I'll visit your family. I said, you got any family there? He said, yeah, I got a mother and two sisters. I said, won't you think it'd be nice if you come back with me and be a prisoner? I said, you'll be alive to the end of the war. Said, I can't do that. He said, they may be American, uh, they might be German prisoners there. And when I tell them, that they was captured by a medicine soldier, they might shoot me, you know? And I said, well, you know best, because you know your own army. So I said, well, I said, Albert, I shook hands with him. I said, I sincerely hope you make it through this war. And you know what? Tears came to his eyes. I, I, I couldn't take no more, because I thought I'd start crying. So I turned around and left, you know? And I never did get to see him. And I never did write him, you know. I should have, though, you know. And uh, that's how it ended. Uh, of course, we went into Berlin, met the Russians. Uh, just before we do that, um, you know, when you were with him, would he just come, kind of come over and sit down by the tree yeah, with you and stuff? Yeah, yeah. You just shared he a cigarette? He was like behind a big rock. And you just shared a cigarette together? And yeah. What did he give you again? It was butter? Or? Well, it, was, uh, it looked like uh, it was about the shape of the cigar a little thicker, you know, 
And uh, he said it was uh, a butter. But when I opened it, it smelled like uh, cheese, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's kind of butter. Who had the cigarette? You or him? I, I gave him a American cigarette, okay. yeah. So, uh, and you just kind of got up and left? Yeah. We just went out separate ways. I said, I hope you make it back, Albert. And he says, you too. Did I you guys, should, I'm sorry, go ahead. Did he, could you say that again? You said what? No, I said, I hope you make it back. Um, I said, uh, and he says to me, I hope you do too. I said, well, I hope so. I said, war is a bad thing. I said, you know. So he agreed and he left. But Did you shake hands when you left him? Or just, or yeah, I shook hands, hands with him. And he squeezed my hand kind of tight. And then I saw his eyes water. And I said, Jesus, I better get out of here before I start crying, you know? So. Well, was he just a private or some kind of grunt? Yeah, he, was, uh, he had one stripe on, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, you know, I felt glad and sad at the same time, yeah. you know? There's a lot of, you cannot, it is impossible to describe the horrors of war. It's impossible. But sometimes you come across some nice things, you know, like that, you know? Uh, 